Whether you're in grade school, high school, college, or kahit sa trabaho man yan, reading is a really important skill to learn. Today, we're going to talk about reading, pero hindi lang basta pagbabasa para makapagbasa aloud. It's reading for comprehension. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video right here is going to be part of our study hack series, pero hindi lang siya talaga for students, it's for everyone who wants to learn. Today we're going to talk about my tips on how you can read for comprehension. Ibig sabihin, magbasa ng inyong assigned readings para maintindihan siya fully at magamit at Matandaan din after a few days, weeks, months, or even years. And I'm so grateful to have a partner sa video na ito. This video is also brought to you by Foxit PDF Mobile App. This is a PDF reader and editor file that you can download and install sa inyong phone or mobile device. This is also going to be what's going to help me show you how I read my readings, whether literature piece bayan or uh, assigned reading pagdating sa psych or something that I have to study so I can teach you. Ito yung magandang gamitin on your phone. And um, we will walk you through how you can use it and of course you can download it from the link that you can find in the description box below okay so now that we have that out of the way i'm going to explain itong process and my tips on how you can read better sa video na ito let's jump right in all right so uh, gagamitin natin yung aking tablet here bubuksan na natin yung foxit pdf app here i have yung file na gagamitin natin as a sample para sa reading assignment na ito, which is the lottery this is a short story by shirley jackson you can also download this file sa ating website sa teamlifea.com the link will also be in the description box kung gusto ninyo na i-download na yung foxit pdf uh, software or foxit pdf app to um read along with me or mark yung inyong sariling readings okay uh, and again, there will be a special license code sa baba that you can use to have it for free. Yes, for free. So, para sa mga estudyante dyan, teachers, parents na kailangan ng PDF reader and PDF editor dyan, uh, that is a great offer for you. Again, this is totally for free. So, I'm grateful for Foxit PDF for partnering with me in making this video and more than that, in providing you a tool na hindi nyo na kailangan bayaran. Okay? So, Job na tayo dito. Ang first kong advice sa inyo would be, if kaya ninyo, and a Foxit PDF is one of the tools that can enable you to do that, you can change the margins and the spacing ng inyong reading. Kung makikita ninyo, ginawa ko na siya dito. Merong uh, space sa between bawat line, at meron ding margin na 1 inch on both sides. Now, bakit may space na ganyan? That space right there is designed para alagyan ng notes kung kakailanganin ko siya mamaya. Okay? And now that you have this file, we can go to yung isa ko pang advice sa inyo. Tip number two, highlight new words. If may ma-encounter kayo na bagong salita sa kahit anong reading, make sure that you highlight those new words at hanapin nyo agad kung anong ibig sabihin. Let's run down yung first line or first sentence nitong reading na ito, nitong uh, short story na ito. Sabi dito, the morning of June 27th was clear and sunny with the fresh warmth of a full summer day. The flowers were blossoming profusely, and the grass was, was richly green. Okay, so we have a word here that can be unfamiliar to some of you, which is profusely. Kung medyo unfamiliar sa inyo, you can use yung annotation tool sa ilalim. Just pick yung highlighter, and i-highlight lang natin yung word na yon, profusely. Okay? Now, another thing you could do would be, if nahanap nyo na yung ibig sabihin niya, you can write it down sa taas. Okay, noong word na yon para mas maintindihan natin. Na ang profusely ibig sabihin lang niya is that it um it happens in large amounts, okay? Or maramihan. So if you're bleeding profusely, ibig sabihin nun, uh, malakas yung daloy ng dugo. So if something says profusely, ibig sabihin malaking yung quantity, malaki yung amount. So if the flowers were blossoming profusely, ibig sabihin sobrang daming flowers, okay? So again, profusely means uh, big amounts. 
Okay? And uh, you just keep highlighting all the new words that you encounter. Kasi kung hindi natin hahanapin yung ibig sabihin ng mga words na yung tayo familiar with, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng full understanding dun sa sinasabi dun sa isang sentence, paragraph, at of course dun sa buong reading material. Okay? Now again, pwede rin na i-mark nyo yung mga dates at yung mga sa tingin nyo ay importanting details. For example, it says here na June 27th, ito nangyari, the people of the village began to gather in the square between the post office and the bank around 10 o'clock. So, morning ah. Tapos, in some towns, there were so many people that the lottery took two days and had to be started on June 26th. But in this village, where there were only about 300 people, the whole lottery took only about two hours. So, ang alam na natin, again, na nagsasabi dito, uh, is that ito ay parang tradition sa multiple towns. Okay? So, ilalagay ko lang yun dito sa margin. So, in some towns... There were so many. So, ibig sabihin, this is um, parang a tradition na nangyayari sa many towns. Hindi ito unique doon sa town na ito na pinag-uusapan natin. Okay? Now, the beauty of it being a PDF file is, again, you can just write things and even erase things. Kung uh, may mali tayong naisulat, no? Ayan, kulahin lang natin yan para mag-leave tayo ng space. Now, it says here the whole lottery took only about two hours, so it could begin at 10 o'clock in the morning and still be through in time to allow the villagers to get home for noon dinner. So, yung noon dinner may be a little unfamiliar, but ang noon means 12, di ba? 12 o'clock. Dinner means a meal. So, we could say that noon dinner can be lunch. Okay? So, again, just things that we are taking note of. Meron din siyang na-mention na there are 300 people sa town na ito. Okay? So, it's the things na feeling more relevant, you can mark those. Kasi babalikan natin yung details na yun mamaya. Next paragraph tayo, it says here, The children assembled first, of course. School was recently over for the summer. And the feeling of liberty sat uneasily on most of them. They tended to gather together quietly for a while before they broke into boisterous play. So, again, we have another word there that could be unfamiliar to some, boisterous. So, hanapin natin yung ibig sabihin yan, if hindi nyo alam. Or, uh, I could just give you a bit of a preview right now. Boisterous means uh, loud, o kaya, or reckless. Diba? Yung pag mga nag, naglalaro yung mga bata, diba? Maingay sila. Okay? And their talk was still of the classroom and the teacher of books and reprimands. So, kakatapos lang ng school. Okay? Bobby Martin had already stuffed his pockets full of stones, and the other boys soon followed his example, selecting the smoothest and roundest stones. Bobby and Harry Jones and Dixie Delacroix. Now, our next tip ko sa inyo would be to underline yung mga names ng characters. So here we have Bobby Martin. Okay. So uh, one thing you could do would be to use different colors for different characters. Okay. So si Bobby Martin, lalagyan natin siya ng blue underline tapos we have um, him doing this ang sabi uh, nag select daw siya ng smoothest and roundest stones so ako medyo napapaisip ako dito like bakit siya pumipili ng ng bato anong game tong nilalaro ng mga bata no so we have him si Bobby Martin who else we have Harry Jones so again we can choose a color for Harry so blue na lang din boy naman siya so these are the kids and Dicky Delacroix. So there's a note here. The villagers pronounce this name. Next page tayo. Okay, so it's really easy using this app. Delacroix. Yan ang, yan ang, yan ang pronunciation ng Delacroix. No? So hindi siya Delacroix. Eventually made a great pile of stones. Hmm. Okay, so okay, napapaisip tayo dyan. But my great pile of stones in one corner of the square and guarded it against the raids of other boys. So all the boys are taking stones, no? The girls stood aside, talking among themselves, looking over their shoulders at the boys, and the very small children rolled in the dust or clung to the hands of their older brothers and sisters. So, ilalagay ko sa gilid na itong paragraph na ito is kung ano yung ginagawa ng mga children. Okay? So it's just my note. Talagay ko lang na this is about the children. So, yung children, meron tayong boys with stones. Girls. Ayan. Para makita natin, no? And 
younger kids. Okay, so yan yung mga ginagawa ng mga bata. Okay? Now, next part na tayo ng ating uh, reading. Sabi dito, soon the men began to gather. So, ito na yung nangyayari dun sa men. Sa so, next part ng paragraph natin. What, what were they doing? They were surveying their own children. Pag sinabing surveying, okay, mamark ko rin uli ng highlighter to. Yan, hindi naman tayo nagtitipid ng tinta. Ibig sabihin, tinitingnan nila, no? Or they're looking over their children. Uh, speaking of planting and grain, tractors and taxes. So, yung mga lalaki yung pinag-uusapan nila. They stood together, away from the pile of stones in the corner, and their jokes were quiet, and they smiled rather than laughed. So, again, medyo, <laughs> medyo napapaisip ako ng onte ah. So, lagi ako uli ng question mark dito. So, why were they quiet? Okay, and why would they smile rather than laugh? So, may something medyo off dito sa, sa nangyayari, no? Next, we have the women. So, ito yung, ito yung nangyayari sa women. Sabi, they were wearing faded house dresses and sweaters. And then they came shortly after their menfolk. They greeted one another and exchanged bits of gossip as they went to join their husbands. Soon, the women standing by their husbands began to call to their children, and the children came reluctantly, having to be called four or five times. Bobby Martin ducked under his mother's grasping hand and ran. So, ito na naman si Bobby Martin. Imamark ko lang kasi nakita na natin siya kanina. So, hindi pa man natin alam parang umuulit yung ginagawa ni Bobby. Medyo makulit siyang bata, no? And umalis daw siya, laughing back to the pile of stones. His father spoke up sharply. Okay, so in sharply na yan, it's not about being matalas, no? Parang medyo stern or strict. And Bobby came quickly and took his place between his father and his oldest brother. So lahat ng families magkakasama. Okay, so inonote ko lang din uli yun. Sa margin, as one of my observations, dito naman sa paragraph na ito. Families together. Okay. Next paragraph, it says the lottery was conducted. Okay, ayun na yung title, di ba? If you watch yung uh, Cinema Sins in, sa YouTube, ibig sabihin ng roll the credits, ibig sabihin importante to, no? The lottery was conducted, as were the square dances, the teenage club, the Halloween program by Mr. Summers. So this is another character, si Mr. Summers. I can choose a different color for him. Gawin natin siyang uh, green, for example. Total summer naman is a happy time. Okay, who had time and energy to devote to civic activities. He was a round-faced, jovial, okay, baka bagong word ulit yung word na to for others, and he ran the coal business. So again, this is how we read, we interact with the material. We leave room for margins, we underline, we highlight, we have our own parang legend for the things that we have to do. Make sure that you use the margins for notes, okay? Because those will be helpful kapag uh, ina-analyze in, uh, in na na. Make sure that you use the margins for your notes kasi importante yan kapag ina-analyze na natin yung material, okay? Now, another thing that you could do would be to have separate notes. Okay, now, um, I'm not going to run through the entire so story, no? Baka ito ay gawin na lang natin sometimes sa... Uh, Siguro sa Kumu Live natin kasi medyo mahaba yung proseso. Pero ang gagawin ko ngayon would be I'll show you um, some of the other things that you can take note of to help you further dissect yung material. Uh, another tool you could use would be this. Um, this is going to enable you to put a parang post-it note dun sa part nung, nung, uh, nung text ninyo. So here, dahil meron akong... Napapaisip na ako eh. Sino ba si... Who is Shirley Jackson? And for every author ng mga readings, lalo na ng literature that you will be assigned to, very important yung kung sino yung author. So ilalagay ko lang siya dyan, and once I do my research mamaya, siguro mag-google ako na kung ano yung relevance ng uh, readings into Shirley Jackson, sino ba siya, like ano yung period, kailan to sinulat, now, this symbol right here, uh, dito sa Foxit PDF um, reader, can help you 
um, think kung paano kung kukunin yung information about the author later. So, pag tinap mo siya, lalabas yung note na yan, tapos pwede kong ilagay dito yung information mamaya. Now, there are a lot of other tools dito sa app na ito. For example, you can actually attach a photo right in the text. So, for example, kung gusto kong makita yung itsura ni Shirley Jackson, pwede ko siya i-Google. Okay, so this is what she looks like. What I could do would be, I will save this image. Okay, tapos pwede ko siya ngayon i-insert dito sa file na ito. Okay, I can just use yung tool na ito. You have the T na my box. I'll tap on the image na button. So, ilalagay ko lang dito. Yan, gallery. Kasi sinave ko siya sa aking tablet. Ilalagay ko yung, select ko yung photo. Tapos yan, nandiyan na siya dun sa mismong file. Siyempre, pwede ko rin siya i-resize. Masyadong malaki. Pero this will help me kahit pa paano picture kung sino yung author. Okay? And again, for a lot of other uh, things na gusto kong gawin dito sa text na ito, I can also use that uh, tool. For example, meron dito ang description kung ano yung itsura nung layout ng place. And some teachers, lalo na kung literature, they also ask for details like that. You can do your own drawings and then ilagay nyo lang siya doon sa loob ng file. Okay? So again, ang importante is that you're interacting with the text. Again, isa-isahin natin. Number one, you have to leave uh, enough space sa margins and in between the text if you could so you can write your notes and observations on the margins. Number two, you have to highlight the new words that you come across para mas maging buo yung pag-intindi natin doon sa ating text. Katulad itong profusely, boisterous, at iba pang words na medyo mas unfamiliar tayo with. Tapos, you can underline yung characters. You can use different colors para mas makita natin. So, iba yung color for the boys, iba yung color for this character, for that character. Lalo na kung laging lumalabas yung, yung pangalan na yun. And then, another thing that you could do would be to keep a separate sheet of paper for additional notes. Okay, for example, in this particular text, again, hindi ko na bubuoin ha, pero marami kasing mga last name dito. So, iba-iba yung mga last name nila, minsan din ginagamit yung first name. So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga first name at last name nila. And uh, one thing na, again, bonus lang sa mga teachers, uh, when they use this reading, they usually ask kung ano yung mga first name ng mga, pang mga tao na to. So, pwede nyo hanapin kung ano yung first name nila. Now, one of my other favorites sa app na ito is that you can save this for later with all your markings and with all your notes. So, kunwari nag-edit uh, ako ng uh, paper for my students, I can just right here, sa so save ko, i-export ko as, as PDF, tas makikita na nila. Okay? Now, the best way for you to remember all of these tips and yung proseso on how you can read for comprehension is to do it. Kaya, don't forget to check out yung assigned reading ko para sa inyo. The link will be in the description box below. Download yun na din yung Foxit na mobile PDF reader so you can start annotating, highlighting, marking your text para sa susunod din yung readings. Okay? Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and nung mag-exam din sila. Dati mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I made, join the online or live review events, you can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlaika. If you want to be a channel member then and help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, you can do that by clicking yung I button right here so you can find out how you can be a rookie member or MVP for this channel. Thank you guys for watching. As we always say sa channel na to, never stop learning. Adja adja, kain yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.